HLE's webcast, local news on demand. It's Monday, March 5th, looking out over the city of Barrie. An Arctic air mass is moving our way, bringing nasty conditions. Hello, I'm Sharon Poshis of the A-Channel News Center, and here's what's making news today. From A-Channel News this morning. There are weather warnings in effect for right across our region. Could there be an end to ATM fees by banks? And several roads have been closed because of severe weather, including part of the Gardner Expressway in Toronto because of the ice continuing to fall off the CN Tower. Severe winter weather has forced the closure of these roads in our region. Gray County Road 9 from County Road 124, Dufferin County to Dundalk. County Road 124 from Highway 89 to Singhampton in Dufferin County. And Highway 26 at Horseshoe Valley Road in Springwater is closed to westbound traffic for the investigation of a crash there. There was poor visibility in the area at the time. And Highway 26 between County Road 10 and George Johnson Side Road in Springwater is closed. So is Gray Road 8 from Highway 89 to County Road 9 and Highway 7 and 12 southbound at Scugog Township Line and the fourth line closed due to a crash there. And there is a wind warning in effect for most of our region from Barry, Collingwood, Midland, Coldwater, or Lake Aurelia, Lagoon City, Washago, Innisfil, New Tecumseh, Angus, and Orangeville. It also covers northern York region over to Beaverton up to Gray County. The winds could gust up to 90 kilometers an hour at some point and be very damaging. It comes ahead of a very strong cold front moving over southern Ontario today. And there is a wind chill warning also in effect for Toronto up to Innisfil, Barrie and Midland and all areas in between. Wind chill values will reach minus 35 tonight and into tomorrow. There will be some snow in the forecast and with those winds that will mean zero visibility on our roads. A handful of residents are still in the dark today after Friday's winter storm downed hydro lines and trees. Allison was one of the hardest hit areas where as many as 50 hydro poles were toppled. Hydro crews worked through the weekend to restore power. In all, about 80,000 customers were left in the dark after the snow and ice storm swept the province. And police have closed down parts of the Gardner Expressway after large chunks of ice fell from the CN Tower. It all began during Friday's storm. The area directly around the CN Tower is still closed off. One man was actually hit by the ice. All I felt was ice just dropping on top of me. And the next thing you know, I seen my brother just covering over me. And he was there. I, all I heard was him yelling, are you okay, are you okay? But I was like, it, it knocked me out. Nuno Marquez of Toronto says he's now suffering from headaches since getting hit. Police have been helping people walk around the danger zones, offering them hard hats. Incredibly, no one's been seriously hurt yet. This is A Channel News. Monday. A potentially deadly bacteria spreads quickly in local hospitals. See, the seal outbreaks don't go away overnight. And it's taking lives. Definitely, there will be some deaths that will be attributed to C. difficile. How does this common bacteria spread, and are you at risk? The thought of going to the hospital and potentially getting sick from something that they didn't have when they came in is very worrisome. A. Genevieve's local stories from the team closer to home.